everybody and welcome back to my channel thank you all so much for coming back so today i'm just showing you guys this um quick little sewing and transformation i did for my aunt for her birthday and yeah so let's just get right into it we're doing like an old school sewing no frontal no closure she wants her hair left out her hair is natural so you'll see how we do that but I'm just taking her front part out in her in her edges right here because she doesn't want that to be braided. And then I'm going to condition the hair. I always condition the hair with some type of leave-in conditioner before I start braiding when I'm doing the sew-in. And with this sew-in, it's just a simple little braid pattern. As you can see, I'm just braiding all of her hair back and then braiding it down to the end here. And then I'm going to braid another one. As you can see, I don't do my braids super small. I really, my clients don't like that. They always ask me to do them bigger. So the, I I'll usually do about this medium size. Then as you can see, when I get down to the end of the other braid, I connect that braid to the next braid. So the end of the braid goes into the next braid, as you can see. And I do that with all of them. Here I'm connecting the second one to the third one and everything. That way you don't have to go back and you have, you know, so the ends down or crochet them into the braids it just saves me some time so here's the hair that we're using just some regular pack hair she's doing one pack black one pack mixed so i'm going to put this black pack at the bottom and before i do that i'm going to go ahead with this wild growth oil um this is my first time using it for my clients or for myself i've heard everybody rave about it for years and years and so i just finally decided to go ahead and try it so I'm going to go ahead and weave her end of her braid through the braid so that I don't, I just, I don't like sewing it down and my clients always have a hard time getting their sew-ins out by themselves. So I like to do as least amount of sewing that I can. I don't like to sew things tight so that they can't get it out, but I don't know. They be saying my sewing is so secure, they still can't get them out. But I mean, okay, so I start at the end and then I loop my needle through the thread and I go in front of the thread if you can see what I'm saying I hold the thread with part of my hand and then I loop the needle on the inside of the thread that I'm pulling some people do it on the outside and they make like a little I don't know what type of stitch that is but my stitches lay over the track and you'll be able to see that I probably should have used colored thread at the bottom so y'all can see what I'm talking about. But anytime I'm ending, I always double, triple, like five, six, however many times to secure where I am. I don't tie knots <clears throat> in their heads. I usually just go around and around and around and around until I basically can't anymore. And then I start with a new needle. I always thread about 12 to 13 needles anytime i'm sewing in hair because i do not like to stop and i don't want to be having to re-thread and i don't want my clients re-threading because they take forever they don't knot the ends like i do so i always do all of my needles before i start sewing and so up here at the top i'm doing the same thing but i'm going back and forth i haven't cut any of the wefts i went back and forth back and forth with everything that helps with shedding and this is what it looks like as you can see the top of her hair is out and there's her edges i'm just combing them out i'm going to flat iron them first as you can see i'm not worrying about it getting like super super straight but this flat iron is the bomb it's a conair i love conair products especially their flat irons i have their a couple of their flat irons actually about three of them and i just really love conair and see with one pass it straightens her hair so so silky and I just go ahead and flat iron the top of her hair really quickly before we go ahead and like blend it in with the rest of it. And so you just see me here flat ironing her natural hair. So we can go ahead and style this. So here I'm just adding some edge control to her edges. And I'm gonna go ahead and slick that back, slick it back, creating her some baby hairs. It looks like she has a relaxer, but she doesn't. That hair is completely natural. 
So all I'm doing is like combing her hair, thickening the hair, making it be able to blend with the artificial part that we added. And as you may be able to tell later, I did go back in and I added two braids in this area here just to give her more of a bang and add more of the extensions into the front so that she won't have to do so much flat ironing every single day and so that the hair will come a little bit forward into her face. You'll be able to see it. I didn't do that part on camera, but um, just know where I am right now combing. I added two braids and... I added two um, wefts as well just to make the front a little bit fuller and give her like a little bang type look. So it styled just the same. I put edge control. The olive oil edge control is my favorite. I mean, not olive oil, sorry. Argan oil is my favorite with the red top. And I always, always, always use that. And it works really, really great for your edges. Natural hair relaxed hair whatever I always use that one and so this is what it's looking like real silk or whatever and then I'm just taking this um, this balm this flattening balm I was thinking about flat flat uh, not flat ironing but hot combing her hair but I didn't and this is the finished look after her hair and after I added the two pieces and after I did her makeup and everything this is her birthday transformation you guys what do you think really quick little transformation hairdo video she enjoyed it i enjoyed it and i hope that you enjoyed it and until next time i'll see y'all later okay bye